Brad's is directed and written by Corey Finley and it stars Anya Taylor-Joy, Olivia Cook, and it is the last performance of the late Anton Yelchin. In this film we follow two teenage upper class girls who rekindle their friendship after a few years of growing apart with one of them tutoring the other. And once this girl that is being tutored played by Olivia Cook sees the kind of not so pleasant familiar situation that Anya Taylor-Joy, her tutor, is going through, they hatch a plan that will rekindle their friendship once and for all and bring them together more more than ever before. I was extremely excited for this film because I love both these two young actresses and I was a huge fan of Anton Yelchin when he was alive. It was a tragic accident what happened to him and so I really wanted to see his final performance. This is a very suspenseful, thoughtful, methodical and slow moving thriller that asks you to kind of be a psychologist and analyze these characters. Corey Finley's direction in this is absolutely incredible and his writing is riveting. The dialogue in this film is extremely haunting and not at all predictable. These characters, I forgot at point they were characters. I just wanted to be with them, hear what they said to each other, how their back and forth worked. And it's extremely entertaining, extremely funny and again, absolutely unpredictable. I had no idea what these characters were going to do next. I had no idea what they're going to say next. The script overall is extremely clever as through characterizations and sarcastic and black humor, it offers a lot of commentary on social status, millennials, the teenage years, and how sometimes people fall apart and how much they lie to each other even though they are quote unquote friends. And Olivia Cook and Anya Taylor Joy share amazing chemistry on screen. Anya Taylor Joy is this very classic upper class girl, dresses very well, has perfect hair, has perfect posture, has everything she wants, but her familiar situation is not all that it seems. She has all these things that are superficial, but deep down there's a lot of dark things going on. While Olivia Cook is this very unemotional girl that seems to be away from everyone emotionally. She seems to have no emotion and Olivia Cook plays her to a T. This is my favorite performance in her young career that I've seen and she was just recently great in Ready Player One. But here it's such a different role and these two complement each other so incredibly well. Now Anthony Elshin plays someone who comes into their lives and he's basically the loser who dropped out of high school and has a shitty job and does nothing worth in life. And I was kind of disappointed with his participation. As far as his performance is concerned, it's great. He embodies everything that this character looks to be and everything that he plays to be in the film. However, his involvement with this girl, how it begins, how it unfolds, how it ends, left me wanting. It is kind of tainted, that opinion, because it is his last performance. I wanted to see something more but I just didn't feel like the character lived up to everything it was meant to be, whether it was played by Anthony Elchin or not. But how the story moves, how the story unfolds, what these characters do, how these characters speak to each other, and how they do things, how they plan for certain events that occur in the film, it's extremely unique. I really like this movie the more I think about it. This won't end up on my top 10 of the year, most likely. I didn't love this movie as much as I wanted to, but the movie surprised me altogether in many ways I was not expecting. I was not expecting this movie to be what it was, but it is very American Psycho in ways. The performances are amazing, the direction is haunting, and the writing is extremely clever, and it showcases the voice of this one director slash writer, and I can't wait to see more of him because Thoroughbred certainly is one of the most entertaining thrillers I remember watching. I don't remember being so engaged in a thriller and wanting to investigate so much and I will say that it is a very damn good martini. It is a good time anytime. What did you think of Thoroughbreds, my beautiful geekies? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Let me know in the comments below what are your favorite films from Anya Taylor-Joy, from Olivia Cook, and what was your favorite film from Anton Yelchin. Thank you so much for watching, you guys are the best. I still have to give you my review for I Kill Giants, and this week I have a review, of course, for Rampage coming to you ASAP. Can't wait to see you there, and so until the next time, you stay beautiful, you stay geeky, and if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button and the bell so you can be geeky. United!